me while they're speaking. So feel free to come on in. We are going to get started um, now. So thank you all for coming. Uh, if you're in the foyer and you'd like a seat, please come in now. Uh, because if you don't, we're going to shut the doors and it's going to be probably another 15 minutes before you can get in. So we'd love to have you come on in, grab some seats, get comfortable. This is going to be a great and wonderful evening. Thank you all for joining us here today. My name is Michelle Wright. I'll be serving as the moderator uh, for this evening's debate between Dr. Shabir Ali and Dr. Douglas Jacoby. It's entitled, Is Jesus Prophet or Son of God? Thank you so much for joining us this evening and taking time out of your very busy schedules. Dr. Ali, thank you for coming to Georgia and joining us here all the way down from Toronto. Great it's mm -hmm. great to have you here. This, in fact, is the third debate between these two men, and it's designed to be a very respectful debate, which is great. Uh, their first debate was 10 years ago, back in 2008, and that was on the topic, the true legacy of Abraham. Their second debate was just last year in Toronto, and they debated on violence, the Bible, and the Quran. Again, this is designed to be a very respectful debate that's in, designed to engage you in some dialogue about Jesus, who lived some 2,000 years ago. In Islam, Jesus is a great prophet, but not divine. In Christianity, Jesus is the Son of God. So these two aspects of Jesus will be what we are discussing tonight during this forum in the next few hours. I say we because it's not just the men on stage here that will be talking you will actually get the opportunity to ask some questions. There is some time that is set aside for the audience to ask questions of both doctors Jacoby and Ali. What I ask is that you keep your questions to 30 seconds or less. If that helps, you might wanna write something down so you can keep it down. I have instructed the sound engineer, if you go beyond the 30 seconds, to silence your mic so we can be respectful and have as many people as possible be able to ask as many questions as possible. So we mm -hmm. want to be fair. I will signal the time during that Q&A. You'll come up here. You'll be able to ask your question to whichever of the, debater, the debaters you would like, or you can ask both of them. Now, speaking of these two fine men that are up here on stage with me, I'd like to tell you a little bit about them. Dr. Ali holds an MA and a PhD in Islamic Studies from the University of Toronto. He also has a BA in Religious Studies with a specialization in Biblical Literature. Dr. Ali lives in Toronto where for the last 30 years he's been actively involved in the Muslim community and he's also quite involved with several interfaith dialogues and initiatives around the world. In fact, He's known as one of the top, if not the top debaters in the Muslim world. So it's really an honor to have him here today. Dr. Ali serves as the president of the Islamic Information and Dawah Centers International in Toronto, where he also functions as imam. He's also got a weekly TV program called Let's Let the Quran Speak. You can feel free to check out any past episodes. It's at quranspeaks.com. Follow him on Twitter at Dr. Shabir Ali on Facebook or at his website, shabirali.com. Dr. Jacoby holds a BA in history from Duke, an MTS from Harvard, and a DMIN from Drew University. He's served as a minister and pastor of several churches, both domestically here in the US and internationally in countries like Britain, Sweden, and Australia. He's currently a freelance Bible teacher and consultant based here in the metro Atlanta area and an adjunct professor of Bible and theology from Lincoln University. He's spoken in more than 20 majority Muslim nations and lectured at several Muslim universities. He's the author of over two dozen books, hundreds of podcasts, which can also be found on his website, douglasjacoby.com. You can also follow him on Twitter at, at Douglas Jacoby and on Facebook. Now, before we get to the opening statements, a little explanation of how the evening is going to go. As the moderator, I'm planning to move the evening along, keeping a note of time and helping shape and formulate any questions to the participants that you may have and working to maintain an equal balance of those questions going to either debater. If someone is going over their allotted time, I will notify them yeah, and I will exactly. ask them to finish up their statement in the next 15 to 30 seconds. If they are unable to wrap it up, I will ask again the sound engineer to turn down their microphone so the next person will be able to speak. 
As you can tell, we're pretty strict about this. <laughs> Before each segment, I will state who will be speaking and how much time they have and in what order. So this leads us to our opening statements. Before we do our opening statements, if there's anybody in the foyer who'd like to come on in, please come on in now, find yourself a seat. If not, the next time you will be able to come on in will be in 15 minutes. So if you'd like to enter now, we'd love to have you. If not, you're going to be listening for another 15 minutes before you'll get the time to come on in. Thank you. Feel free to come on in. Thank you and welcome again for coming. We've got seats. Please feel free to come find some seats.